Hello everyone. So uh, this is the first video of this uh, tutorial. In this tutorial I will show you guys how to use um, a classification technique called principal component analysis to classify uh, your uh, a data set with multiple features in the nth dimension. So for example, let's say you want to classify a data set with uh, 13 features and this is a wine uh, uh, example of a wine data set and these features include uh, you know alcohol the acid content and color and all the stuff and the data is uh, is given and then they also give you all the um, classes that each wine sample uh, belongs to so it has three classes total, one, two, and three. And and you want to use PCA to uh, uh, build a training uh, a model by using a training uh, training set from this population of data set. So you you can pick like a third or a half uh, of this uh, training of this uh, data set to create your training uh, training set so you can build your PCA model and it turns out that PCA is pretty simple to do um, it's, it all comes down to find the eigenvector of this the, the covariance uh, matrix of the the features and once you do that you can project into uh, a, a lower sub dimensional space so here I have a, a few examples where I projected my uh, 13 uh, feature, uh, 13 dimensional uh, space into a one dimensional space and a two dimen dimensional space for classification. So uh, you can see that I have marked the different classes with uh, different colors. The one in the red is uh, belong to class one. Uh, blue is class 2 and green is class 3 and uh, if it's, uh, there's an overlap there's a chance of error and uh, when, uh, when you increase the uh, total dimension so you increase from 1 to 3 you get a better uh, a better results so here um, we're getting about 18 percent error so that this is a 3d projection so um, in the uh, next several videos, I'll show you guys how you can use uh, PCA using uh, write a PCA um, model using MATLAB. Thanks for watching.